Hi, Lucy. <laughs> so, uh, quite a uh, coincidence. Uh, we spoke a, a year or two ago, and uh, you were looking at teardrop trailers. And what you purchased is kind of windy. Sorry about the noise. Is a Vistabule. What number? 311? 311. State of the art here. Uh, yeah, and uh, what is this? This is your uh, your brake controller. Brake controller. This is the automated one. Everything's in here. You have nothing in the car. Well, we do have a little helm that will um, give us feedback. Yeah. Um, but yes. How do you like it? Very much so. Very. Much it's so. it's responsive. It brakes very well. You don't feel much push when you step I on the brake. I didn't want something that I had to use my phone because I'm using. Everything is here. There's no there's no network connection. No nothing. It makes all the decisions, huh? Yep. How do you like the exterior tongue box? Very nice. Very nice. It's yeah. The dirty stuff stays there. Okay, great, great. Let me get, let me get keys and unlock for you. Yeah, is it loaded up? Uh, oh, you bet. Lock over here, which is a smart thing to have. You have the locking pin for your uh, for your uh, your receiver, trailer hitch. Yeah. yeah, your receiver, and you got your uh, seven-way connection. Who did the work? Wally. Wally, Wally, Wally trailer. Wall. Yeah. Wally. Well, that's right. Wally's hitches. Okay. Wally hitches. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. So you're all loaded up. You have a. Uh, oh, I need to uh, show you mine. Uh, yeah, I nice. camp in sandy places like here. I bought a silicone shock glass that fits. Oh, you have a cover. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that breaks, I I I have a silicone it has shock glass. With duct tape as well. well, I saved a penny by not getting that. You know. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Okay. You have an inflatable uh, light here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. I have several of those with me. The spare. Spare, oh, uh, spare propane. I brought five, a spare tank with me. This is five, interesting. Five, I may do the same. Down. I've got Excellent. two 25 foot um, extension, extension cords. cords. I've got for, for leveler, AC. For AC. When we have AC. Leveler. Okay, leveler. this is nice. Yeah, very good. And then I put pretty much your light, my wheel chocks, another head. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, okay. the, all the basic stuff. Yeah. But then I also put like everything else we need <laughs> in a bucket, in a carpenter's bucket. Very good, very good. So we can just take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it double as a toilet to or no? Okay, no, no. We okay, got just one for that. Okay, good, good. That's a uh, good, good, uh, excellent. We do. Yeah, very well. nice, very, very nice. And how are your adventures going? They've been adventurous. Um, I think since we got this in 2019. Of course, we picked it up in Minnesota, yeah. went back to Vermont. Then we've gone, uh, just before the pandemic hit, we went from Vermont down to uh, Austin, Texas for my sister's 50th wedding. Yep, more mooch docking. More, well, we did some mooch docking, but we did a lot of state park camping and stuff along the way. Yeah. And, um, and back again. And then we've just gone down to Florida to visit relatives for the first time since the pandemic. Good. And then we're on our way back. Excellent. Excellent. So coming back from a great place to stop. This place is heaven on earth. Well, okay. I, I, put, I went on the group, on the Facebook group. Yeah. And you said camp on Aspeak with the ponies. Yeah, and you're here. We only have one night, but we thought we'd scope it out for future visits because we definitely want to come back and spend time. A rally. Yeah, well, you know, if you buy a vestibule now, they might give you a hat. That's yeah. a, certainly, a, certainly justification, you know. But I guess we got to show you the innovation. Yeah, yeah, show me what you've done with it. You know, it's a beautiful color. I think the green is very, very nice. Yeah. Look at this shelf that Jack engineered to put in here. Oh, Jackie, Jackie wow. Jackie has zero uh, skills, but she's got lots well, of Well, Jackie, yeah, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so you have a platform there, plenty of storage, dog bed. Dog bed. Okay, and... Uh, this is our dog crate for when we are mooch docking and we need to put her in somebody's house. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of here. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, very nice. Do you use couch mode much? No. I'd okay. Maybe 20% of the time. Yeah. And We're you thinking have, about it tonight because it looks like it's going to be pouring. And it's supposed to be bad tonight. Yeah. Well, you know, there's great seafood restaurants just a few miles away. All right. Know. Oh, so, tons of them. And you're buying, right? I'm going tonight. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, if you want to go, we'll have fun. You know. Well, scallops. Bring okay. Them, bring them back. Yeah. Yeah. Scallops. Yeah. Uh, so, what is that up there? Is that a mitt for dusting? <laughs> That's actually a, the, for drying off the doggy's feet. Okay. 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 This, this is another thing that we got. We got the, um, the water. Oh, yeah, the, good, good idea. I have waterproof too. So when I take the, the dog and throw her muddy feet in there. Yes, yes, can, yes, yes, and yes. Underneath that, we each have a quilt, a camping quilt. Great. Um, I always, I'm always colder than he is, so he's yeah. got his own. I've got mine, and then they're joined at the top. So. Is the heat great or what? It's fantastic. It's a, it's a, it's a must-have. It's just a must-have. Okay, great, uh, excellent. And you have the glass windows.
Okay. Okay, so you got the bat wings, the burt wings. Ew. Yeah, it's a bit windy today, so uh they might get Yeah, be careful here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the uh I noticed you have roof solar panels. We do. Yeah. And how do you like them? Are they working for you? Have you yeah, ever run short of power? And I use a CPAP. You use a CPAP. You have a C do you have a lithium battery? I do. You do, okay. And it how many amp battery. hours is that? It has the battery heater on it. Yes. So if it gets below 24 degrees, yes. it kicks on and warms it up to a point where it can safely charge. Good, because I winter camp and that's working out for you? Very much so, yes. You never run out of energy, uh, close or anything? No, when I've been, we do a lot of camping in Vermont, which is our home state, and sorry, I'm trying not that's to okay. blow yeah. away here. <laughs> and, uh, SEM, SEM. Yeah. Um, and it's very shady, and none of the state parks there have electric. Yeah. So after about two and a half days in the shade, yeah. Then, then it starts to go down, and then yeah. I, and I get concerned. So, because uh, we're also running, um, of course, lights and charging phones, and we have the refrigerator. Yeah, the electric refrigerator. Dometic? Yeah, okay, Dometic. great. Oh, it's a wonderful refrigerator. Yeah. It really is low energy, very, very... Do you mind if I uh, poke... Do you mind if I go into your drawers? <laughs> you know, there's a line from an old uh, Finn Man movie with Myrna Loy yeah. and William Powell about, okay. what's that man doing in my drawer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Okay, you're you're laid out pretty much the way I am, I think. Uh, let's see what you got to decide. It's all in the little Yes, bit. You're, you're laid out very much the same way I am. So, yeah. This is my fancy shower system. It's called the Simple Shower. Yeah, it's a tub. Right, guaranteed to get you wet. And all it is, is a... Oh, you put it on the bottle. You put it yeah. on the bottle. And you hold it over your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. The water before you put, put it in the it bottle. Out. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I have one of those. I have the nozzle head for the bottle. I haven't used it yet, though. But uh, I'm using a wash tub now, you know, and it's uh, it's good, good. Nice sink. Uh, they're always innovating. Uh, you have 12 volt. 12 volt and also the USB. Well, yeah, very nice, and uh, the whole uh, Victron energy system, uh, which is a must. I made this because I love the pasture. So that I'm, I'm uh, a night owl. Dave's a morning person. Yeah. So when I'm trying to wake up in the morning, he can come back here and make me my hot tea and pass it through. Yeah. But it's often. Hi. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> it's another good reason for the pass through. You can pet good Lucy. Is that it gets you know it gets cold so I just put these on. Oh yeah, yeah. I brought uh, very yeah yeah yeah. I can't I, do it from this side. But, yeah. I brought uh, reflex it and I can poke it in there. Same yeah. idea. It'll block it off and uh, this is nice. So you have a nice. Uh, yeah, we should really we should really uh, either roll those up or. Uh, to lift that to get silverware. Yeah. Where well where's your silverware down here? Yeah. Here. Yeah. In fact, this is the box a box that came with. Box is a smart idea because if that stuff bounces around, you know. So we can just take this out. Yeah. We can put it on a picnic table. And yeah, cutting, cutting boards, cutting yeah. boards. Yeah, okay, I love it. Very good. I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, because a lot of times when I get somewhere, my silverware is all akimbo, you know. Right. I'm learning from you. This is great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Excellent ideas. Great customization. Well, you, you know, they're done. they're they're all done, but I mean, you can customize them endlessly yourself too, which is really fun. And it's, like, and it's still little things like these I got from Outdoor Gear Exchange. Uh huh. They fit perfectly, perfectly. Yep. here. They don't go anywhere. These I found online, not, not the black desert. Uh huh. But these <laughs> little spice containers. Uh huh. The only problem is that these tend to slide on the top. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of time. You can fit a lot in there. I mean, that's a life. You know, I guess you're using a lot. But I do a lot of cooking. I see. Them. So yeah. So you have uh, all your spice containers. All spice. So what are you carrying in spices? Because I'm trying to boost up my spice selection. Um, bay leaf, um, chili powder, cinnamon, cinnamon, cumin. Um, I've got marjoram in there. Italian seasoning, salt, pepper. Um, and time. I think we're trying to go on one big trip a year. So we went to the rally last year. We went to Texas the year before that. Okay. We went okay. To Florida this year. Yeah. Yeah. And those are month-long trips, and that's yeah. a significant. That's enough. For us. That's enough. You come back satisfied. You know, you're yeah. welcome. You're willing to park it for a while. How do you store this in a garage? Yes. yes. Okay. Great. That's one of the advantages. And you don't know what your gas mileage is. No. 
Not over the top. I okay. Uh, plan to hit the, the larger, you know, national parks. Um, yeah, you have the America the Beautiful Pass, right? Yeah, we do. I have it yeah. here too. I say half yeah, price at this place. Acadia, Acadia this September, I hope. Yes. And um, then next year out west. But I think before this gets ripped off, and we have. You to better close it down. Yeah, close it down. No, no, this is a. Uh, yeah, the trailer's liable to fly away. Yeah. What a beauty. It's a real beauty. Congratulations. Uh, I'm glad. You jump in there and then go through the uh, the pass through. Yeah, you pick some conditions here. I got this. I got this. Yeah, I do. About about six feet. The awnings, yeah. Yeah. And they have supports horizontally. Yes. And then we run guy lines from each corner. Now we won't do it tonight. It's way too windy. Absolutely, you'll still never see him again. Right. But uh, we, we got that from uh, Mark Savage. Okay. This is the second uh, tapui I've seen. I saw one uh, in Pennsylvania, and they are—they're really, really nice. So Mark Savage recommends this. He's a full timer in vestibules. I think, yes. I think Mark has the sun shady, but he put one on either side because you never know what the campsite will look like, yep. so you'll have room. And of course, with two of us traveling, it's not fair to say, I get the audience and you don't. Yeah, I just went for the vestibule uh, channel uh, thing. Yeah. I'm pretty, I, I, I don't have enough experience with it, but I think it's really gonna work out good for me. Does it slant toward the trailer? A little bit, yes, but it spills off the sides. So it's, uh, I have had it out in the rain, and the water wasn't a problem for me. One of these on each side, you know, it's really wonderful uh, when you get up in the rainstorm and you go to put your shoes on and you have a, uh, an awning. It's just really a nice... Excuse the pun, but it gives you a vestibule for your vestibule. Ah, a vestibule for your vestibule. I'm sorry, I, have to, I may have to voice over on this. The wind is so intense. Well, that's a happy camper right there. Yes, it is. So you had plexiglass and you upgraded to glass, which is very nice, very good. Any other upgrades? You had these upgraded. You know, Vistabool is one of the few companies you can add things to. I added heat. I added a number of things to my trailer, and they were uh, very, very, you know, they can retrofit a lot of trailers. It's either built in when you get it or it's not. You know, you're... And, and I'll tell you a quick story. We had a bent axle when you stood behind the trailer and looked at the tires. They uh -huh. were not vertical. They were bent. Free just, axle, they huh? just replaced it for free. So how do you like vestibule support? I think I just heard how you like it. I think they're top notch. I think that, you know, camping... Everybody is there. They are. Camping, Vistabule, there's a couple of companies that are really supporting and uh, I'm going around this campground interviewing people and uh, you know not every company is very good. Uh, some of them pretty stink, you know, they, they stinko and the engineering is not good. This 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 trailer, you know, Bert spent a lot of time in it. The engineering, he's a real camper. So uh, and it's, it's just really, it's elegant. I mean, the, the, the quality... It's a class of trailer. The quality of the workmanship, um, the fact that I can call or or email or whatever and get someone to respond quickly. It's, yeah, you talk to somebody on the phone. It's not like uh, leave a message and we'll get back to you someday, you know, the second to never. This is the solar flare... Sun flare. Uh, okay, sun flare um, uh, solar panels. How much combined wattage? 130. 130 watts. And how's it working for you? Very well, and I use the CPAP. Yeah. So good. as long as I've got sun, I'm doing fine. Of, and that's, of course, when I'm camping in shaded areas and I don't have shore power, that's a different matter. I usually get about two and a half nights before um, the battery starts to go down. Yeah. Um, that's so, good. That's so good with I have lithium. Two choices because this also has a, a plug-in support external where I can, you know, get a long cable and run the, the solar panels, auxiliary panels into the sun. You have auxiliary panels. I no, don't. We're, we have the capability. But or we you haven't. can get something like a Jackery. Or I, I have both. I'll show them to you. If you're around later, oh, stop by. I'd love to show them. The Jackery has worked great as a bridge system for exactly what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. We've been going back and forth as to do we get one or the other or both because we, we're, we're wanting to bring as few things as possible and keep it as streamlined and simple as possible. So, uh, good morning. How was your night last night? We had a raucous storm. Uh, my trailer was shaking. So was ours. So was ours, and we were we were hitched up to the car. 
yeah. and still it was it was uh, rocking back and forth a bit. So. Did you say hitch because you were worried about you know the trailer or you no, just uh, just uh, because yeah. we were only staying one night? Yeah, and everything was level. It was just easier. We didn't have to take anything apart. So what's amazing is there is the two of you, two adults and a dog, mm -hmm. living in this trailer. Yeah. And uh, yesterday, last night, I saw you out walking in torrential rain. Yes. And uh, we all had our rain gear on, even the dog. Even the dog. But now there must be a lot of preparation to get that dog into the trailer dry, right? <laughs> a lot of uh, logistics. It or? does. Well, we, we we brought her into the car and we took off all her rain gear and we toweled her off and. Of course, she, she gets fed first, so mm -hmm. she gets her, her food and her water and all that stuff. And then we just bundle her up, up back in the towel and put her inside. And we have a, a waterproof blanket that, that's on top of um, our, our, our bedding. And we have the, the, uh, the sort of fleece side towards us and the, the nylon side on the out uh, outside. So any, any remnants she brings in with us, we can easily wipe off or shake out later. Now, how about humidity? Do you get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, humidity? I did in notice some condensation this morning, but every time we tried to crack a window, it started rattling, and yeah. we, <laughs> the we were afraid. <laughs> Even the rooftop of the rooftop fan, we we were rather reluctant to open that even an inch because it was rattling. Yeah, Every, this 34 mile an hour winds was the highest o'clock gust over there, but you're more open here. We're more open here. And yeah, um, yeah in, in fact, uh, we have these um, uh, these stra door straps, thank you, Lester Rickman, that <laughs> Lest Lester had made for us. And it uh, the, the door got out of my hand and it just ripped it. I mean, it, it ripped the nylon. Wow. The nylon Yeah, real forces at work here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what did you do for food? How did you eat dinner last night with a raging storm? <laughs> uh, One of us held the, the, the hatch about 18 inches open. The other one crawled underneath, opened the, the uh, refrigerator, put all the food on top, uh -huh. closed it all up. Then we crawled in and reached through the pass-through to get all the food. So you laid it out. You just had cold food? Yeah, we didn't cook anything, you know, you just, okay. We had salad, we had, uh, I guess, some leftover quinoa stir-fry with peppers and zucchini. Mm -hmm. um, hummus and carrots. Hummus and carrots, yep. So and, back and, counter and, buffet. And, uh, exactly. And, uh, yeah. and, and of course, gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Of course, yeah. I am very happy to announce that a medium-sized pizza can fit through the, uh, the pass-through. <laughs> and it looks to me, yeah, I, I, a large pie will also fit through here. So you can just uh, put your pie back here and uh, enjoy the uh, dinner from the inside the trailer. It was wonderful meeting you in person. Yeah. <laughs> well, likewise, too. Yeah, this is just yeah. such a cool, it's just the greatest things have happened and regarding the, where the horses are. I've been walking uh, around. Oh, the they're here. There's, a lots of, there's lots of manure around, so we know there are horses. Yeah. Around. I want to see if I can get some bubbles. 